the distance between your cheek and your eye never changes. It's, it's, a fixed, it's a fixed distance, unless your face starts getting saggy and melts off from some random radiation poisoning or something like that. It's gonna be the same. Hi guys, Ethan here, uh, the guy with the pink gun, and we are going to be talking about shooting today, shotgun shooting specifically. If you guys didn't get to see my last video, you should definitely take a look at that. We did an impact drill. Um, all you had to do in this drill was stand close to the target, pull up, mount, and shoot. And the results to that were very surprising to me. I was drastically less consistent than I expected I would be, as well as the whole drill felt rushed, which was kind of confirmed by the people that watched. They said, it looked like you were rushed when you did that. And it was a weird thing. It was a non-moving target. All I'm supposed to do is mount and shoot. And I felt like I couldn't do it slow enough or right enough, it felt rushed. So uh, these are four things that I wanna talk about that I am going to be working on and that definitely, if you're working on as well, you could improve your shooting like I'm hoping I will with mine. If this is your first time to the channel, guys and gals, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of our shooting videos as well as any of our other dog training videos throughout the year. Now, on to the steps. First and most importantly, we need to be shooting with both eyes open. So I'm gonna dump the sunglasses here so you can see this. When people are taught how to shoot, I see it a ton. I hear other people give newbies instructions on shotgun shooting that you need to close one eye. That's preferably going to be your non-dominant eye and you're going to take your dominant eye and you're gonna put it right on top of the gun here and you're going to line your bead up and when you're doing all of those things, then you can magically track and shoot things. It's more of a, an aiming technique that you would, um, you'd be using for a rifle or something to that effect. And it's not exactly the way that good shotgunning happens. First of all, when you close this one eye, you lose multiple different things, one of which is depth perception. It gets harder to tell where the target is, where it's moving to, is it coming closer, further away, as well as you're going to lose your peripheral vision. You close one eye, all of a sudden I can't see my hand until here, which is almost in front of my face. Now with both eyes open, I can see here and I can see here, which is pretty much straight out. So my peripheral vision is drastically better with both eyes open and this is gonna allow you to get on target and stay on target better. So keep both eyes open. Now, I do wanna say, it takes a little bit of practice. And this next drill that I'm going to do here, which is going to be mounting to the cheek. This is number two, as far as importance goes. When you mount to the cheek, that means you're going to pull up and the, the stock here is going to be setting into your cheek as opposed to what I think a lot of people end up doing, which is mounting to your shoulder and then bringing your head down to the gun. When you do that, you're gonna be drastically less consistent. That is mounting to the shoulder. So when you, you pull up to the cheek here, the distance between your cheek and your eye never changes. It's, it's, a fixed, it's a fixed distance, unless your face starts getting saggy and melts off from some random radiation poisoning or something like that. It's gonna be the same. So if we can muscle memory and then as well as just like pressure point memory a lot of these things happen with archery and anything that you're trying to be consistent in you're going to mount to the cheek and you're going to feel that same spot every time and even if you're off just a little bit it's going to be pretty dang close which is going to help you to become a better shot and a more consistent shot now when you mount to the shoulder and you bring your head down every time you're bringing your head down it can be different so now I've got an empty gun here. This is the old semi-automatic lock back and I wanna show you guys kind of what this looks like. I'm gonna try and aim right at the camera and my camera lady has stepped out of the way because even with an empty gun, it doesn't make me feel comfortable to point it at someone. So I'm going to it's pull, your wife, right, baby? doubly especially my wife who is now off to the side in a safe distance here. So when I pull up to the cheek, you can see the gun, the barrel, everything is pointed right at the camera. Again, right to the cheek. Now, when I mount to my shoulder, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So I mount to my shoulder and then I pull my head down to the gun. 
And if you look here, you can see that, and I feel like trying to get my head down to the gun where it's supposed to feel right, that my eye is actually off center to the right side. So now I'm off of the gun. We're gonna try that one more time again. I'm gonna mount to my shoulder, then bring my head down, and my eye actually cuts on the outside of the gun there. I hope that you guys can see that in this video. But what we're going to be doing for this second important thing here is mounting to the cheek. Now, this is something that I've seen before and it definitely holds true in any kind of training and conditioning um, and muscle memory building drills. Anything you are doing, we talk about this a ton with dogs, anything you're doing, you're conditioning yourself to. So practice makes perfect, right? No, perfect practice makes perfect. Practice, bad practice, just makes you badder. Well, it's definitely gonna retain the things that you don't necessarily want, and it's gonna make it harder to fix those things down the road. So we're going to mount to the cheek slowly. I'm picking a spot out here. I've got a clump of grass. I'm mounting, I've got my eyes set on it. I'm mounting to the cheek. Now, slow is smooth, and smooth will become fast. It's consistent, it's the same every time. I can steadily move up and hit that same spot. And when I pull up and check, I'm right on that clump of grass. So we've got keep both eyes open, mount to the cheek, practice that. The next thing that we're gonna do is, this is a, this is a groundwork, if you will, shooting drill. This is going to be footwork. You want to make sure that your um, left foot is forward if you're a right-handed shooter, your right foot is forward if you're a left-handed shooter. This is going to help a lot with pivoting if you are shooting opposite. So we're gonna demo the wrong thing first. We got my right foot forward and I'm shooting right-handed. Now, when I try and pivot, I get cut off here. I can't swing any further right comfortably. I'm tight in my hips, I'm tight in my back, and I'm stuck. If I get left foot forward and I have something to pivot on, now I can swing comfortably all the way 180 degrees on this swivel. And it's gonna be the same thing left-handed. I'll look a little awkward like most of you left-handers do. Just kidding. But we're gonna start right foot forward here, mounting left and swinging all the way around here. It looks totally goofy, it feels goofy. But if I go in reverse here and put my left foot forward, trying to shoot left-handed, again, I'm gonna get cut off here where I can't actually swing anymore to the left because I've cut myself off with my hip. Okay, so now that we've got these three things so far, we have keeping both eyes open, which is very important. We have mounting to the cheek, and then we have our footwork. Proper footwork is important because we don't want to be rushing those shots. Birds come out of the grass and you've got more time than what you think. It just kind of our brain tricks us into rushing things. You're gonna set your feet, get ready, pull up, both eyes open, mount to the cheek, and then swing on that bird. Swinging on that bird is what brings us to the last thing that I'm going to be working on. And this one is one that really surprised me because I feel like I'm a pretty dang good shot. I shoot a lot, I've killed a lot of birds, I break a lot of clays, all the things. But when I tried this, it was really, really surprising. What we're gonna be doing here, again, gun is completely open. I'm going to be doing a mount and swing drill. We're gonna utilize the things that we've already worked on here. Eyes open, footwork, mounting to the cheek. But we're just going to pick a line. So I've got the, the line here on the gutter of the house, roof line. I'm going to mount to one side of it and I'm going to slowly swing across. Again, that slow is smooth, smooth will become fast. We're gonna mount, swing to the left, then we're gonna mount on the right so I'd swing back. As we're tracking along that, the thing that was surprising to me when I've tried this here is how warbly I get. This is what it looks like though. So we're gonna mount on the right, swing to the left. I got my footwork ready, both eyes open, cheek and swing. Again here, reset, cheek, and swing. Keeping it nice and slow and smooth. Now, you can do this inside, you can do this outside, wherever you feel comfortable, have a place where there's a straight line that you can mount and follow along. Guys, 
These are the four things that you should be working on and I'm definitely gonna be working on this summer to help me to be a better shooter for this fall. Be safe, always use an unloaded gun when you're doing these drills. And I'm the guy with the pink gun. We will catch you in the next video. Thank you.